Hello everyone, Praise Good here. Welcome back to more of Tears of the Kingdom. Last time we finished up our rummaging around the lower half of Hyrule Castle and then started making our way over to the Elden region. See, on the surface, like, it's like, it's weird. It's like, on the surface, I let everybody do their thing. I let everybody do their thing. I let them live and prosper. Beast, man, whatever. Minus if it's a, their Psyquest mode. But I let them live and prosper their own way. Also... I'm going to make note of this camp. I'm going to make note of this camp on the map by walking past it. Hmm. This is the first instance of this. Hmm. Hmm. I'm looking around because I want to see if there's... Okay, this is the first instance of this, and I think I'm going to break my rule a little bit on side quests, because I would actually like to start this off. Alright, my going through... By the way, I'm well aware Penn's voice is way different. I would like to make note that it's been at least a month since I've voiced any of these characters, and been doing depths exploration and editing stuff for the depths. So this, so voices are not going to match up whatsoever. Alright, mind going through it all once more time, just to make sure I have all the details correct. What happened tonight when the Great Fairy hid herself away? Mm. Well, we had our accident here one awful night. Ugh. And a voice crack. Sometime after the upheaval, when we saw the Great Fairy nearby vanish from view, it was troubling somehow. We got our, in our wagon to go to her. That's when it happened. Mm. The rightful, the whole thing? That's when the woman with blonde hair jumped out in front of us. Our horse bolted away. We're off and ran into the night. But the real tragedy was that involved one of our most crucial members of the troop. Our beloved Parisa. One of the wheels broke. And now we can't even transport our instruments to the performances. Or us. Hmm. Hey, at least no one was hurt. But since that night, the Great Fairy has been hiding in her bud. She seems afraid of something. With it, it was that woman. I tell you, she hid from the, from the Great Fairy. She's a villain twice over. She left the scene of our, of our tragic accident without so much as an apology. Mm. Whatever reason the Great Fairy has for hiding herself away, we thought a performance would cheer her up. Mm. But the breeze are broken down. We can, can't transport our small troop or our instruments there. Mm. And the one who caused all this was a blonde-haired woman, you say? Hmm. Could that have been? Sup? Oh. oh, hello there, partner. I didn't know you were out this way. You have perfect timing now. Sorry to spring this on you so suddenly, but uh, we've got work to do. These fine musicians here were just telling me an interesting tale. Apparently, the great fairy who lives near this stable has shut herself away in her flower bud. Why, you ask? Yeah, it seems we have something to do with the mysterious blonde-haired woman. Mm. A reporter and six, my reporter and six are calling out. Could the mystery woman be her? Could she be Princess Elba? Ah. Of course, we can't put anything to Prince until we're sure it's true. So we have to talk to the great fairy first. Great fairy? Ha! Huh. Huh, asking the right questions. Good and six, kid. Uh, you'll make a decent reporter yet. Oh. Oh, there it is. Having an R slash whoosh moment. Look up on those hills. See that big plant in the distance? That's what the, the one that's sprouting with pretty stuff. That right there is a flower bud where the great fairy lives. They say she really likes this musical trope, and that's why she moved near the stable recently. A great fairy who loves the troops' music performances? That alone is something worth looking into. Oh. We mustn't forget that the great fairy bestows protective blessings on Travelus. Her presence is essential to the stable. I do hope you can help her soon. Mm. If only we had a way to reach her. But Breezer is broken, and we don't go anywhere without it. Not to mention our horse is gone. We're stuck here. Allow me. <laughs> Allow me to fix the song of your people. It does make sense. Hi, ta, 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 ta. Who's the one fixing the, fixing the breezer? Uh, who's the one fixing it? I said, who's the one fixing the breezer? Now, wheel, when I stick you on there, you're going to stick on at a proper angle and not just do whatever the heck you want. Oh, it's... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You called me stupid. Fair assumption. This is similar to another quest we can do later. 
And I'm doing this now just because I would like to have, I would like to get a little bit of the legwork in for upgrading some of our equipment at, at a little early. Hi, I have fixed, I have fixed the thing. What are you thinking, partner? The members of the troop mentioned the woman with blonde hair? And you think the right prince is out there? Oh. We should check with the great fairy and find out what she saw. But if she's no us, uh, but maybe we can give me the reason to her somehow. The wagon's busted though. Okay. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, and same stuff. Hmm. I got you. Uh. I can't believe it. Yeah. I'm making a Violine, he's made the, some sort of change to the breezer. Maybe we have to be able to on our way. Quick, let's get in. We wouldn't want to be left behind. So these are these are a very uh, very s widespread throughout the area, where you need to transport the breezer. Now, if you think you can do it on foot, you can just go ahead and nope, not that. If you think you can do it on foot, just go ahead and grab the front of the breezer and pull. Don't. Let's get this rock out of here. Oh, that rock is a stable point. But you want to construct something to get yourself up there. Now, the way I handle this, uh, let me let me look at the path. Okay. The way I handle this, and the way I'm going to do this now, and the way you can do as well, is if you've been following my path almost entirely throughout the depths, is more auto build. And get yourself. We've made something to help with this kind of thing. Okay, I can use the left stick. Good. Do I want to use the three-wheeler? No, it doesn't have a point. It doesn't have a point on this. Uh, I know I have a... There it is. I made a big rig. Costing 24 zonite. But it's worth it. Uh, now, with our big rig in place, let's go ahead and attach it. Uh, a little higher up, a little higher up, a little higher up. I guess we're going to attach it like this. That is going to sway all over the place. Mm, how? You know what? We're just going to wing it and hope they don't get too upset. Basically, if you jostle these, if you jostle these fine folks too much in your travels, taking them to the Great Fairy, you have to restart. Okay. Seems like they're pretty happy with it so far. But this is a, but this particular quest is a side adventure. So this will be a multi-tiered thing, and if anyone remembers Breath of the Wild, and I'll spoil this for you right now. If you remember Breath of the Wild, there was a quest that was very similar to this, where... Or there was a... The Great Fairies, there are four of them. Technically five, but the fifth one deals with other modes of transportation, we'll say. But the, uh... So if you put two and two together, because I know you're all smart cookies out there, smarter than me at the very least... You can, uh, you can put together that we'll be doing a quest similar to this f uh, three more times. One for each great fairy. But anyway, I recommend the big rig. If there's other ways you can do it, and even if, like I said, if you can do it by hand, if you can manage to wheel them up here by hand without jostling them so they freak out and go, no, put us down, and restart the mission, all more power to you. Thank you. We'll take it from here. All right, maestro, lead us into the performance. Yeah, little troop, or, well... A little troop must play all the he with all the heart we can for the great fairy. I'm not gonna. I. I'm waiting for the music to start. There it is. Now I've heard his voice proper, I can actually try and put a voice to it, even though I still fail. Also, this man, Maestro, built like built like Wario and Waluigi at the same time somehow. Facial features, Waluigi. Body, Wario. I don't like it. Help. 
Behold, Violin! The great fairy uh, graces us with their presence! Truly divine! Sup, Pen? Well, look at this! You really helped out here, partner! I flew fast here as fast as I could when I saw the bud opening up. So this is a great fairy. Bro, where were you five years ago? Mm. Oh, I, could, I couldn't resist coming out of the basket in your beautiful music. Now that I'm outside, I see that the world is not all as how Princess Zelda described it to me. She warned me that the awful gloom was spreading over the land and that the world would soon be lost to monsters. Zelda did that. I hid myself away. Mm. But now that I look back on it, while Princess Zelda was speaking to me, I had a feeling that something wasn't right. In the deep dark of the na that night, I couldn't see her face clearly. Maybe it was someone else entirely. Mm. Huh? Another, pr another figure that appeared to look like the princess, but wasn't the princess? Almost like people have different facial features, even though they can have similar other features to them? Shocker! So, she looked like Princess Zelda, but wasn't Princess Zelda? I don't like the sound of that. I think our reporter might be taking a darker turn here. On the bright side, the Great Fairy is out of hiding, and that's a big scoop. I've got to take wing and get this news written up for the newspaper. Oh, that's right. That, that was your first job, wasn't it? Pana, you did quite, quite all those results for your first time out. Why, I'm feeling a little proud of myself. Here, to start out the, the old nest egg. So, there are... 15 or 14, somewhere in that range, there are 15 or 14 of these quests involved in the newspaper, which is why this entire side side tangent quest. And as I said, or as we did see, like, as we do these quests for these stables, all 15 or 14 of them, we'll A, get a little bit of pocket change to help with our, fund our adventure. But as we go along and do more of them, we'll A, get that, get that armor piece, uh, set that Tracy showed us. But also, Pen will, over time, increase the amount we get per uh, per help we give the local stable. I think this I think this amount caps out at 100 rupees per job, which isn't the greatest, but, you know, 50 to 100 times 15 or 14, you know, you're looking at at least 1,000 rupees in rewards there, so. As you take on many stories, your base pay will obviously increase, and there are bonuses, of course. So, keep it good work. And, uh, okay, I'm going to take this story and head back. This article will keep readers hanging on to every word. So long. He thinks he's him. I miss Kaz. Maestro, I thought the rest of our musicians left the troupe because they didn't know, like how I played my violin. Oh. Violin? What's just the matter with all that? Why, you moved the heart of the great fairy herself with your violin. Your playing is impeccable. <laughs> yes, his voice changed. I'm well aware. I guess I really didn't do that, did I? I've heard the other great fairies also hiding away in their buds. I bet if, uh, I mean, we play our music for them, that cheer them up too. A brilliant idea. Why don't we do that right? Uh, what, what that calls for? Reuniting our troop to the stable trotters. So, I'll... thank you for helping us here. It means a lot to us. We're a troop of two for now, but oh, you just you wait. Uh, I know we'll get the other musicians back with us somehow. Yeah, yeah. Now that it's decided, we should get ready for our journey, my line. Let's hurry to the other great fairies and bring them out of hiding. So, as I said, there's going to be three more of these setups mm -hmm. that we'll venture to in the future. So, this will be a common trend, but the ones in the future will be a little more involved. And I think they do have it set up where the one, where this one with Violine is the first one you'll do. I think, anyway. So we actually did, the, for lack of a better term, we actually did something in order for a change. I was about to return to my, my spring in its sweet serenity when I heard those two mention my sisters. There are four of us across this land, you know. Huh? You will find my sisters in the flower buds. They're as scared as I was to come out of hiding. Ba-ding, ba-ding. Mija is near the stable in Hebra. Kaisa is near the stable in Hyrule Field. Cortella is near the stable in West Nekluda. Mm -hmm. I've been worried about your, our safety, but after hearing the musical trip, I feel much better. May I ask, if you find other buds, could you talk to my sisters? 
And while you're here, how about I enhance your clothes for now? Huh? With the power available to me, I can give, I'll be able to enhance your clothing a little bit. Hmm. So this is kind of why I said, you know, try and hang on to materials as best you can and some stuff. For some bits of uh, material, we will need star fragments, which I mentioned like back in, oh god, was it episode 11, 12? Way early on. A lot of these more special bits of armor, well, some of them can't be enhanced, but some of these more special bits of armor require star fragments. So you can enhance these and they have bonuses, but do know the requirements for these are much higher. Also, uh, of course, the Amiibo couldn't give me at least one more mighty thistle. Of course. So because we're going to be walking around with certain bits of armor, I'm going to go ahead and just up upgrade some things. Uh, upgrading requires some materials and a little bit of rupees. Now, we can only upgrade the armor pieces one for now. Also, let's just show us off once. Show it off once, and then we'll never touch on it again. Hold on. Amazing. A very fine work, I must say. A resourceful healer like you surely wants to unlock even greater potential, yes? Some sets, if you enhance each part of the set twice, will give you a special bonus when you wear them. Not every set, mind you, but some. Mm -hmm. And enhance the others. Uh. So I will talk about it every time. But I'm just going to enhance the, the bits mm -hmm. of armor that we will be wearing. Mm -hmm. I will enhance the bits of armors that we are going to be wearing for our journey. And at least show what some of the other upgrades are going to look like. Now, unfortunately, the dialogue does loop a little bit here. If you... Oh, man. I have to use my key swings. Butts. Mm. Well, I'm going to be using this lot in the depths, so let's do it. And I guess right now. But, yeah. There we go. And just like that, we are up to... If we want to, we can be up to 15 armor. Mm. Let's look at them, but I don't think I'm going to do anything else. So... You can see, like, some of this... At least starting out, a lot of this armor is very basic and very, uh... Ah, screw mm -hmm. it. We'll upgrade as much as we can. I've got money. Mm -hmm. Even though I should really save some of this money for something coming up here. But I've got some things I can sell. Including including a literal metric ton oh. of Zonite that I'd have nothing better to do with. Oh. Mm -hmm. But let's go ahead and upgrade mm -hmm. our sets. Oh. I like how I've got this, this armor set up. <laughs> i got the miner's armor set up to be 15 armor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, oh. um... Unfortunately, I cannot give you a pre preview of what tier two looks like for any of the armor sets because we just need to find we do need to find the great fairy in question. But we have enough to enhance this. I'm gonna skip it. Man, we have plenty of these. Okay, let's upgrade this armor too. Mm -hmm. Even though this has no benefit and I don't think it has any bonus, I appreciate sure I put in editing notes what the bonus was for this. But let's just upgrade all this anyway. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. Now I actually I think I could be wrong on this. I think. Because we and this game, for whatever reason, I don't think it was the case with the, with uh, Breath of the Wild, but in Tears of the Kingdom, we can actually buy multiple instances of an armor, or at least find up to two instances of an armor set. So, like we can we can have multiple pieces of armor, but I don't know if the bonuses bestowed upon by a Great Fairy transfer to all, transfer to other pieces of armor. Anyway. If you see a giant flower bud as you journey through Hyrule, please pay a lovely play lovely music to them. My little sister Cortana said she, uh, she was going to stay on the other dueling peaks and include the south. Well then, I'm heading home. Bye. Bye. Sayonara. So yeah, if we wanted to wear our... I'm doing it. I'm going to get the most armor possible so I don't die immediately. But yeah, now we're up to 15 armor, which, what does that mean for numbers? Still not a whole lot, but it means that we won't die as fast. Razor Shroom. I'm sorry, I need the meat. <laughs> Scooter, did you just attack a fox with a soup ladle? Yeah, and I won. What, what's it to you? What are you going to do? Please don't do it. Whatever it is, don't. Anyway, uh, okay, I do have this one. Well, that's how I found this one, is with that. Jeez. Haha. <laughs> Bringo. Downside to be a voice cast of one. I have to do all the voices. So I'm going to be drinking a lot of water. Rise and fall. Ah, I see. This is going to use our uh, rewind ability. At least parts of this will. So, hop on, rewind it. 
and move along and jump off at the end for an ex for a quick boost. Anyway, you can go away now. Thanks, bud. Uh, oh, it does move with the with the river. I gotta look here because I think ah yeah there it is. Okay. You, buddy, need to come over here. Because you're climbable. And using your using your properties of being climbed upon, I'm going to get the only charge chest in here, I'm pretty sure. Alright, I'm doing it. Drop. Wrong button. The Zonai Shield Shield. Let's go. Uh, that is not going to work how I want it to, will it? No, it's not. Okay, let this fall. Let this fall the wayside, and we'll come back. But yeah, it's this stupid thing where basically I just have two zonite shields fused to each other. So I have double layer of shields. So if one shield breaks, I get another one. I effectively have a hundred armor points worth of shield on me right now. You can do everything like this with every shield, but I think it says directly in the description: zonite to zonite is a is a direct transfer of properties. Anyway, hop on, and up we go. Just uh, don't stay on it too long. You don't want to go back into the return chute. Look, look. Oh, is there a pusher? Oh, is there a button there? No, there's just an invisible trigger spot there. Okay, neat. Oh, let's see. Oh, I think I remember this one. And again, uh, let's check the map really quick. Just to make sure. Okay, yeah, that was the only one. So. This one, I think we need to hold it here for a hot minute. Like, I do mean a hot minute. Drop it. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and have that hover for a minute. And then drop it down again. And there you go. Simple as that. Just a rewind time puzzle. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna keep the zone, the, the zonite shield shield on me. So a thing about zone, well, about zonite equipment in general. Uh, this won't become apparent until a weather comes into effect, but we already know about this element, so might as well just ruin this illusion right out the gate. There's a belch bruising within me. Excuse me. I just noticed it looks like a rock roast on the upper right there. Um. We do know about lightning element stuff in the world. So it's not a shocker that there may be this thing called thunderstorms, which is not on the weather forecast, so we're good. Zonite equipment... Oh yeah, zonite equipment doesn't have a... Uh, zonite equipment is uh, electric proof, or shock proof, we'll say. So if you're ever walking around in a thunderstorm and want to not die... Just put just put on the good old zonite uh, zonite weapons and you'll be safe from electric strikes while you're fighting. Wooden weapons have the same effect, but the zonite stuff is probably the best for this kind of thing. Or at least the strongest will, you can get for this kind of thing. Anyway, I'm not paying attention to sky towers. I'm not good. Silver, of course it's silver. But the band he's leading is. Regular bull goblins? Eh. Well, he's got a beastie weapon. Hey, buddy. Attack your troop. They're confused what's going on. Bro, throw a haymaker. Haymaker! You're bad at this. Man, you cannot attack, can you? There we go. Just start throwing haymakers. Now they understand there's a threat. There we go. I just want to watch him fight back. How did you miss? This is why I love... Oh, big man's running. Big man's on the move. This is why I like doing this, because even though... Uh, even though the enemies have an upper hand on him... Even though the enemies have... Even though he has an upper hand on the enemies in terms of raw strength... The, the enemies can still do damage. Oh, they block. They have shields. They can block. I <laughs> I feel like I'm watching some kind of like cage match. Haymaker. Ooh, he's on meat. 
You don't need to announce you're going to attack, just attack. When you and when you when the new employee fights the manager. Oh god. Alright, cool talk. Why am I I forgot, I've got armor for this. Why am I not using that armor? Hey big man, what's up? What's good? Uh here, hold this. I like walk around soon later two plate, I'll think that I'm gonna be him. What is my problem? I'm not one, I'm not him. Two, soup ladle is not gonna do anything. This on the other hand will do some damage. Not the best, but it will do damage. Well Okay, that did not go as well as I hoped it would. I mean it is a silver enemy, so it is gonna it is gonna slap me up. Even with that increased armor, I still got one shot. I'll start the next episode felling this foe, but everyone, I do thank you all so much for watching this episode of Tears of the Kingdom, and I hope to see you next time. Take care.